Hi, and welcome back to the Heller Goodman Solutions Academy here at Heller's head office in Mentone, Victoria. In this video, the next in our series, we're going to be conducting a front radar calibration on the Skoda Superb. We'll be using the Megamax 56 diagnostic device, the CSC tool, and the Radar Kit Evo 1. It does vary a little bit from manufacturer to manufacturer, but generally a front radar calibration is required after the radar sensor has been removed and refitted, the radar sensor has been replaced, the vehicle has had a wheel alignment, or in fact any changes have been made to the suspension geometry on the car. The lock carrier has had adjustments made to it, or if there's a fault code indicating that a front radar calibration is required. By referring to the Heller Goodman Solutions coverage list, or the Megamax diagnostic unit, we can easily see when a front radar calibration is required for this Skoda. Here we can see the Megamax 56 showing us that a front radar calibration is required on this Skoda after any changes have been made to the wheel suspension geometry, the front lock carrier has been disassembled, the radar sensor, including the ECU, has become loose or been replaced, or an exterior force attack through rear end crashes within the vehicle front. It's important to remember that we always recommend fitting a battery charger to the vehicle whenever you are carrying out any diagnostics or calibration work. Now we can proceed with the calibration. Firstly, we need to connect the vehicle to the Megmax unit using our VCI or vehicle communication interface. We plug this into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. We will now select our vehicle to perform the calibration on. As we've worked on this vehicle before, we can select the vehicle from our car history. As always, before commencing our calibration, we will conduct a global scan on the vehicle to ensure there are no trouble codes set that may affect our calibration. Once a global scan has completed, we can continue. The Megamax 56 now shows us what requirements we need to satisfy before we proceed, including removing the front cover off the radar sensor, which we will do now. Now we've removed the front cover, we have access to the two adjusting screws, which we will be required to use later. Once we're satisfied all of the preconditions have been met, we can begin to correctly position the CSC tool with the Radar Kit 1 Evo plate fitted in front of the vehicle. Once we have fitted the lasers to the rear wheels and ensured the spirit levels are centred on both planes, we can position the CSC tool central to the vehicle by adjusting it left or right and ensuring we have equal readings on both scales. Now we have the CSC tool centred to the vehicle, the next step is to set it at a distance of 120 centimetres from the radar plate to the radar sensor. Now that we have the CSC tool centred to the vehicle and the radar plate is set the correct distance from the radar sensor, the next step is to set the CSC tool so it is parallel with the rear axle. We do this by reflecting the lasers off the mirrors and back onto the measuring scales on the rear lasers. Now we can rotate the CSC tool on its centre axis to achieve an equal reading on both the left and right hand scales. Now we have the CSC tool and radar plate the correct distance from the radar centre, we have it centred to the vehicle and set parallel to the rear axle. The last step in setting up is to ensure the spirit levels on the radar plate are centred. We can achieve this by making any necessary adjustment on the adjustable screw legs of the CSC tool. The Megamax 56 device tells us to set the Evo plate at position one. The Megamax 56 now asks us to set the plate at position two. Finally, it asks us to set the radar plate at position three. Here we see the adaption is being carried out. 
and the Megamax 56 displays the adjustments we need to make on the adjustment screws for the radar sensor. As for the instructions on the Megamax 56, we now make the adjustments to the adjusting screws. We turn the upper left screw two and three quarter turns to the right. And the lower right screw, one and three quarter turns to the right. With the advised adjustments made to the radar sensor adjustment screws, we return the radar plate to position one and continue. Now to position three. Here we can see that the radar calibration has been successfully performed. The calibration results are stored with the vehicle history and can be referred to at any time in the future. That concludes this video. We hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to presenting the next video for you where we will conduct a front radar calibration on a Mazda 3.